Hey everybody, welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be playing a bit of Floor 13, Deep State. Now this is supposed to be, I don't know if it's a sequel or a spiritual successor to an old game that came out in the 90s, just called, I believe it was just called Floor 13. It's got sort of like a government espionage type feel to it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about here. So, this is how the game starts out right here. They, they have this meeting with your contact dialogue pop up and it says, Hello, I'm glad we could meet today. No need to face me. Just enjoy the view. Okay. I followed your career and I believe you are ready for something different. I think you will find what you are looking for in the Ministry of Ag Agriculture and Fisheries. Of course, why wouldn't you look there? It isn't quite what you think. Hmm. We pan over to see the killer fish. No. The black fr black friars leave. Oh, I was like, man, is this going first person shooter? <laughs> Let it leave. Day one. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries morning. Hmm. Everything's got kind of an interesting, like, washed-out, painterly look to it. it. Makes sense, considering it's raining, right? Security clearance reference. Violet Ocelot Salt. I'm gonna have to try to remember that, aren't I? Violet Ocelot Salt. Creepy. Very ominous. Office of the Director General. Good morning, your office is through the door. Alright, so you can enter the office, enter the archives, or end your day. You, may, you get up to your floor, you're just like, you know what, I'm gonna take the day off today. That's floor, that's floor 13, baby. Deep state. Should we answer the phone? I see you're already at your desk. Desk, excellent. Please read... Please remember to read reports every day. Okay. That's it? That was the phone call? No hi, no bye, no <laughs> nothing? Let's read the reports. So they've done some real nice animations, papers coming out and everything like that, but it seems so far, so far it's very early to make a judgment that the game is mostly going to be about reading different things, remembering different things. We'll see how this goes, because my memory is uh, not great, and my reading level is very low. Communication from Mrs. Jane Roberts triggered stop words. Triggered stop words? Alright. Next. Your transfer confirmed. I remember you asked for a transfer to a new department some time ago. I apologize for the lack of warning, but after a sudden reshuffle, a position appeared that had to be filled. Frankly, I don't know much about the role, but it sounds like issue management. No need to get your hands dirty. Okay. So that's it for that. Put away. Check the suspects. Alright, so if I click the phone, I was waiting for the, the dialogue to pop up, but the dialogue only pops up if I click it. Um, I guess I should probably also move my webcam over a bit here. How about, how about there? That, you, that way you guys can actually see those little pop-ups. When looking at a suspect, you can prepare orders as you see fit. Okay. So we have the Irish National Liberation Army. Because peace is just pointless. <laughs> Minuscule group or cell. Attributes. Secretive opposes government. Those seem like the top two for most secret uh, organizations, doesn't it? Can be violent criminal connections. Reference. Terrorist suspect warning. Mod intercept. Mrs. Jane Roberts. Is librarian? Come on. We know that's a cover. Okay, so that's that. Prepare... Polls and diary, okay.
So we have an upcoming appointment, April 4th, with the Cabinet Office. Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Okay. So if we check the suspects on who, uh, what was her name? Mrs. Jane Roberts. She is a suspect. It says golfer, pub regular, suspected INLA member. So when you hit prepare orders, ransack, removal, okay, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know that we're ready for that. Let me go back, I don't know if we need to get more evidence, or like, uh, is the game going to slam us for, for that? I don't know. If we go back out to the hallway, and go to the archives, maybe we can do a little research first? Yeah, I feel like I'm like stuck in the uh, cinematic parts of Resident Evil. Like they <laughs> they they took the Resident Evil door opening sequence and just extended it out to like, you know, uh, checking out papers and checking out tables and all that stuff. All right, the welcome pack. Wow, this is gonna be long. It looks like. Welcome to the Pursuit Service. Use our teams to follow suspects and report where they go and whom they meet. We can also spot if a suspect is carrying a con conspicuous weapon. Other departments may benefit from our reports. Surveillance Service. Teams will stay a discreet distance from a home or location to report who comes and goes. Don't forget, you can put surveillance on a suspect's house, even if they are deceased. Ooh. Under a search, uh, welcome to the search and ransack department. Order a search or on a residence or compact location to unobtrusively inspect items. Ransack, real, like when they were offering that for that woman, I was like kind of hesitant to do that because ransack to me sounds like going there and like wreck stuff looking for things, right? That's what I always think of, but it sounds like it's unobtrusive, so maybe we'll we'll do that. Um, set up a quicker setup is quicker if target is already under surveillance. We will not take anything away or risk any interaction. So we can basically just like get away with that. Welcome to the search and ransack department. Order ransack. Didn't I just read that? Huh. They mistakenly uh, printed out two copies of this report. No, it is different, isn't it? Welcome to the search. Okay, order a ransack to remove anything suspicious even if hidden for further analysis, as long as we carry it out. Okay, so they are different. This is not so discreet. Innocent parties tend to complain. So, so a search, okay, I see. So search and ransack are two separate situations. So yeah, I was gonna say, so if we do order that ransack, that is bad, because that'll go in and definitely it's not so discreet. Innocent parties tend to complain if we turn their homes over for no good reason. Um, removal department. Sometimes you may need to remove a problematic suspect and accept the exposure risk. Naturally, people in the public eye will attract more attention if erased. Please avoid this. Welcome to abduction and interrogation. Bring in a low-profile suspect for later questioning. Sometimes jokingly referred to as Kosh and Carry. Also a good way to get at personal items. The suspect should be put under surveillance first. Welcome to the assault department. My god. Our team will strike at a contained location. Destroying it there may be a small amount of collateral damage. Please avoid damaging notable landmarks. Yeah, you don't want to damage the landmarks for sure. Uh, welcome to the disinformation department. After a successful smear, either a suspect or group will have less effect. Check the slush fund is not running out. Only higher profile people and groups can be smeared. Uh, infiltration. You can find out more about certain groups by infiltrating them. This is more risky for violent or chaotic groups. And it did say that that group had a tendency to be more violent, right? Pursuit service. Use our teams to follow suspects and report where they go and whom they meet. We can also spot if a suspect is carrying a conspicuous item. Do we already read this? Yeah, okay, so we're back at the beginning. All right, so we got the welcome pack. So that's it? In the archives is just... Okay, I thought the archives was going to be like where you could find evidence or research a suspect or something, but... Hmm. So, I see her 
stuff in there. I don't feel like I have enough... Like, she's a suspected member of this group. When you end your day, I will pick up any new orders and give them to the relevant department. See you tomorrow. So... We have a suspect, but it doesn't say much more than that. Like, how do we know whether, like, a ransack is called for or not? You, you know what I'm saying? By the way, today is April 1st on the clock here. I just wanna... It's no joke. This is no joke. Alright. Uh, we'll go over this one more time just to make sure I'm not losing anything. Okay. Known INLA codes have been confirmed. So her affiliations are that she is suspected. And, we, you know, I... Okay, so we do have all these other things, too. So we want to put her on surveillance. That's what we want to do. Okay. Makes a little bit more sense now. And I think we're probably going to do a search here real quick, too. And we'll call that a day, I think. Put away. Okay. Now that I went to the archives and read what everything means, it makes much more sense. So, check suspect. Da, da, da. And we can review our orders at any point. We put in the order to surveillance and in order to search. Search order. So, let's put that away. Let's go back to hallway. And we'll, we'll call that a day. What do you say? Day two. Tube station morning. There is the train. It's a very thin walkway here. Wow. To the city. I feel like we're going to run into somebody dubious here on the train. Oh, maybe not. Meeting with your contact. I heard you uncovered what could be a target for an attack. Okay. You don't have the resources to stop an attack in progress. With large open locations, there's not too much we could do, but watch. To prevent an incident, you need to act more directly. Well, sure, but... If he's referring to Miss Jane Roberts, how would I... T I mean, see, all it said was she was a suspected member of. That's all it said. I mean... If you're chastising me for not acting more directly, I don't I don't know. Be vigilant, be aware. But yeah, give me a little bit more to go on. Like tell me like yes, she is a member. We have proof. I don't understand the more ominous music. I don't understand the whole like stopping in front of the building just to hit enter building. Like just go upstairs, go into the building. I, unless later there's going to be other options maybe. We are still in like I guess what you consider tutorial mode so it's possible. Three new suspect files. Okay. Let's go check them out. Let's blow this case wide open. Oh, eyes only. Should be your eyes only? Or they just mean eyes in general? Like no... <laughs> no feet, no hands, no butts. Uh... Home of Miss Jane Roberts, librarian. Items observed. No, scribbled reference to Victoria Station. Uh... She leaves home. This is a surveillance. She leaves home. Search team enter location. Oh no, this is the search team. Okay. The previous was... This... Okay, so this is all part of the search. Miss Roberts returns home. Okay, so that was the surveillance, but it's not listed as surveillance. That's interesting. 
All right, so we did a whole lot of nothing. We found a, a scribbled reference to Victoria Station. All right, let's put that away, I guess, then. Uh, check the suspects. So we already got that. And I guess she's still under whatever this stamp is. I'm not sure. Surveillance, I would, I would assume. So we got her home laid out. We got the blueprint. What is this scribbled reference to Victoria Station? They just mean like she left a note somewhere by the phone like to mention it or something? Yeah, so, so she's currently under surveillance. That's all we got at the moment. Okay. So is this a situation where if we go back to the hallway, we'll be able to look at the note in the archives? Is that how this is going to work? Okay, we'll give this a look. If uh, this doesn't work out, I feel like we're not pushing hard enough. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll ransack her place and f figure it out. No, we still just got the welcome pack. Okay, interesting. Oh, you can click again to like quickly get through the animation, so that's good. All right, let's go back into the office and check the suspects again. So, prepare orders. So we got removal. I wish you would give like a little blurb under what each one is because it's kind of annoying that I got to go all the way back to the archives and try to read and remember what each one does because I, I would pick like pursuit any of these things but I, I don't know I don't know what to pick to move things forward here so um, so like removal and pursuit oops that is not what I meant to do Or like, why can't we have an archives button like in the office? Would be helpful. Just saying, little little quality of life things there would be really great. Uh, okay, so pursuit. Use our teams to follow suspects. Okay, so we could do a pursuit. Removal, sometimes you may need to remove a problematic suspect. Okay, so that's like... Removal must mean like actual killing, is that what we're going? Abduction and interrogation, which we may go with next if... Because uh, I think I'll do pursuit first and we'll see what happens here. Okay, let's... I keep hitting escape accidentally. Put that away. Let's go back to hallway. Let's go to our office. Let's put a pursuit order on her and see what happens here. Sign it. All right, let's try that. Let's put this away. Let's call it a day. And see what happens. Day three, late morning. Got there a little late this day, that day. You have one new suspect file. Okay, we got a new suspect to deal with. Cool. Come on, come on. All right, read the reports. Ah, Miss Roberts visits a lockup garage, eh? 
leaves the garage, turns home, returns home. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's Victoria Station. Didn't really look at these too much previously. There's the lockup garage. I'm not sure that there's anything else we could do at the moment. I mean, the fact that she went to a lockup garage and the fact that she may have scribbled down a note about uh, Victoria Station doesn't seem like enough really to like <laughs> go after her or interrogate her, or something, you know what I mean? Maybe that's just me. So that's our known groups. Huh. That's all we got for today. I guess we wait and see what their pursuit and surveillance uncovers the next day. If nothing, then I guess we will we will uh, go for the ransacking. That's what we will do. All right, let's get ourselves up there, dude. All right, where are we at? Day four. One new suspect file. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got. Aha. Picks a bomb. Yeah, okay, we gotta intervene. Leaves her garage. She's carrying bomb. I love that it's that specific. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She picks a bomb. You didn't think that was a good time to like maybe call somebody in and be like, she's got a bomb, and then it's very funny to me. All right, so that's the lockup. That's the Victoria Station. I'm not sure what the new... That must have been... Small weapon observed, so that must be the bomb or whatever. Um, yeah, explosive device with timer. So we need to prepare an order to... I thought we had her under surveillance. Oh yeah, it's highlighted white, so we can't. It's weird that it gives you the red text, even though we have that in... Interesting, okay. Uh, we want to abduct... Sign it. And if we can also ransack, I say let's go for it and see what else we can find, because at this moment she's got a bomb. Let's put away. Back to hallway. I think that's it for today. Closed circuit audit starts. Targets, waist size, and weights are as expected. Moving van is in place at location. Carpet unrolled in front of location. Remember, target must be upended over par carpet. The rat quickly and put in van. No more than eight seconds, gentlemen. Relax, mate. I've been doing this for years. That's funny. Relax, mate. To the city. No other people on the train. Man, slow morning. So the suspect is no longer active. You may still need to tie up any loose ends. Do you really know what was going on? If you stop a suspect too early, you risk losing information. Well, it's true, but she had a bomb, right? Like, what if she gets there? I was like, she's going to blow it up, and you're going to chastise me for blowing it up. Only by observing suspects can you begin to work out the purpose of a plot. We were observing her. We observed that she got a bomb with a timer on it. May have been the result of a one-off attack or part of a campaign. I guess that's true. It could have been either one. I don't know what the buttons at the bo bottom of the conversation mean. Like, there's OK, a question mark, and an exclamation mark. And I hit all three during that conversation, but I don't know how that affected the conversation. All right, let's see what day in, in store for us for uh, day five here. Let's see how this works out. Very foggy day. 
Very foggy. All right. Good morning, Director General. We better have some... Something to read. I'm surprised it didn't say, like, yeah, you got new... Here we go. Read reports. Make sure you are in control of the fallout from any aggressive or extreme measures you take. Okay. Read the reports. Home of Mrs. Jane Roberts Librarian. Note. Scribble reference to Victoria Station. Okay, we said that before. Abduction department has taken Mrs. Jane Roberts Librarian as a guest. <laughs> Interrogation reports to follow. Uh... Leaves the home, ransack team, enter location, return to returns home, interrogation team abducts Miss Roberts. And the only item that we got was the scribbled reference. That's it. So she was taken. Well, that's all it's really telling us. Okay, interesting. And that's it for today? Okay. I guess we'll end it there. It's like telling me stuff I kind of already knew, right? Uh-oh. I got an achievement that says premature detonation. Let's see what this is about. I'm assuming she must have fessed, fessed up to uh, whatever was going on, right? That has to be what happened. You have one new external report. Let's check it out. Local residents seek salvation. Friends of Mrs. Jane Roberts are baffled by their behavior. Mrs. Roberts was believed to have left for a religious retreat without further explanation. What? Oh, this that was what they put in there while we're interrogating her. I get you. Subjects is not spoken. Subjects is healthy. Interrogation method confirms to... Conforms to intensive questioning. All equipment adheres to British standard specification BS 8233, of course. So that's all we got there. So we don't actually have any new information. She hasn't said anything. So it got bombed no matter what. So we needed to take her earlier? Do we take her too late? I don't I don't really know. I feel like the game has given me really mixed guidance there like at first it's saying I, I didn't react quick enough or, or the way I should have you know I said like you need to kind of take more direct approach and then the, the last one was like oh no 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 now you're too direct now you gotta make sure that you're uh checking out everything first before beforehand you know you know what I mean um that achievement I got was actually fail to stop the bomb plot okay Hmm. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here, but I feel like I'm not really reading things correctly. Like, I thought I was doing the right thing. So I guess I should have kidnapped her earlier to get more information. I guess that's really the only thing I could think of. Because I don't think I don't feel like the game gave me enough clues and whatnot to like kind of go off of there. I, I sent out a s search team, right? I sent out the surveillance team. I sent out the pursuit team. I guess I should have sent all those out the first day. I don't know. She got her bomb the next day. So, But it, had I waited when we found out that she had a bomb, then I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's really weird. Hmm. All right. Let's end our day, I guess. And see what the next day brings. Uh, to the city. In we go. I love that the seats in the train have, like, that old 80s pattern that you would find in old trains that haven't been upgraded in a while. It was your job to prevent that bomb from going off. Next time, use the departments to get more leads and find out what is going on. What else can I do? At least you can infiltrate this terrorist group. This may yield information for later use. Maybe you have learned a lesson in this probationary period. Next year, you'll be ready to run ministry full-time. Yeah, I'd probably not. I don't feel like I know what I'm doing at all. So I like the feel of this game. I like the whole like meeting up with, uh, you know, somebody in the morning, you know, as if it's like some 
uh, secretive person who's giving us advice the whole time. You know what I mean? I think that that's pretty cool. Um, I, I think it's a little strange that everything in this game is text-based, you know? I guess it makes for a relaxing play for some people. This game is going to appeal to a very spe specific type of person here. Um, someone who's, you know, able to... You have one new external report. Okay. This is the first negative media we have had under your watch. Be careful. Oh, boy. But yeah, this is going to this is going to appeal to a very specific person, someone who's looking to read all these reports, find clues, do that kind of stuff. Um I really not not sure what else I could have done though. I, I feel like I need to replay that beginning part to really like kind of nail what it is they were trying to tell me or what they wanted me to do. She still hasn't spoken. Huh. I don't know. I really don't know. Close that. So obviously there were other people involved, but she hasn't spoken yet. She hasn't said anything about it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. To me, I, I don't know. Just because someone's a suspected member of something seems like... To me, it seemed too early to interrogate her. You know what I mean? But... Maybe the game is like, no, 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 as soon as you get a suspect, you grab them, and you gotta question them immediately, so maybe that's what the what the thing is, but uh, there you go, guys, that's Floor 13, Deep State, I think you understand what this game is gonna be, it's all about problem solving, solving the case, figuring out what to do at the right time, um, and uh, using your instincts and, and reading a lot here. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Video Chunks because we come out with Let's Plays like this and other gameplay videos all the time. And of course, check out my own personal YouTube channel at youtube.com slash watchggrc because I come out with all kinds of other types of gaming videos I think you like, you know, reviews and that kind of thing. Uh, but I just want to say thank you for watching, and of course, I'll see you all next time.